here for a film. For Ken Reeves, or for luxury sports cars. I'm very happy to have a nice selection of the best microphones you can use for this purpose. Or the music that I love. I'm Rob Becker, a composer. I will meet the film with my music. The short story, it's about reunion, it's about hope, it's about strength that uh, a team together can achieve a lot and how important friendship and brotherhood is and trust. I was always curious about uh, the, the, the library, it's a Chinese library of music. It's very sensitive music. This. So this, they support the rhythm section that uh, symbolize strengths and that they are together, they are confident what they do. Microphone here to get the takeoff. And this will be 1D. No matter what sound I'm capturing, I always try to create a recording that not only convinces my clients but also myself. T14, rolling. I'm a recording producer, Jakob Hendel. This is nice. We have a microphone here in, in between us, pointing into the it's, it's work. And it's a passion to see what is, what I can achieve with the tools I have in this situation. When working as a sound engineer, I see every production as a new challenge. In this project, we're working with digital microphones, which are perfectly suited to recording car sounds and highly dynamic orchestral sounds. I'm searching for the perfect solution with the best available tools. I always gave the driver an introduction. I sat next to him, controlling the digital microphones. 500 meters, then we turn. When I first met the Lamborghini, I asked the driver to show the power coming out of this enormous engine. but very impressed also. 
And if I don't get the impression of this energy on my recording, why should I be happy, you know? That's the reason why I'm, I'm always trying to make this feeling that you can, you can create outside is sometimes even better on your headphone or on your stereo. Kian Reeves, as a director and producer, thinks that digital microphones are an upcoming trend. When he asked me about my experience, my answer was that this promising technology will be essential to fully digitizing the entire audio production process. After spending this one week capturing supercars, I very much look forward to working together with Rolf Becker, recording and mixing his phenomenal compositions. Both of us will inspire the Guangzhou Orchestra and we will create a wonderful soundtrack. I think it sounds good already now. I feel quite confident. Studio work uh, I love very much. I, uh, I do it since almost 30 years. I try my best to conduct, to um, give them some energy uh, and to, to uh, let them feel the different tensions and vibes of the music I composed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, that's the same. I, this attack is very like a like a metronome. Once again, one, two, two, and pam, 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 two, three. This is one of the places where you can hear at the end what you wrote. Everything is on tape, and you have to be very um, specific and uh, correct because you cannot change it after that. In the beginning of our recording session, I will invite conductor and composer Rolf to listen to my sound mix and to make proposals how to improve it. On the other hand, I will also propose some improvements in order to make the orchestra play a little more inspired or to calm down if it's too inspired. Orchestral recordings that was great. Overall, was was wonderful. The especially the car sounds, where I thought that it, it just really, really felt right there, and it's almost like you're you're surrounded by these cars. You're sitting inside of them yourself while you're watching the movie. Man, I want to get that Bugatti now. <laughs> but the sound was just really, really strong. George Lucas has a famous quote where he says, you know, sound is 50% of the experience. Um, and it's so true in seeing what you can bring to it, especially in today's day and age. You just see like how much it, it can bring. Think about what would Darth Vader be like without that scuba breathe, breathing, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty incredible. This movie where there's points where they're swerving but then you can pitch it in and out and have it go like whoa, whoa, whoa. 
You want to make things as active as, as possible. Let me start with the music. Basically, they have a pretty large orchestra um, playing along, and there's obviously many, many layers that have been uh, recorded and, and, and blended together. Uh, there is a lot of natural space, so, so what we're doing is actually using a lot of the the, the sound of the room in which they recorded the, 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 the physical orchestra as opposed to adding synthetic reverbs and that sort of stuff. And that can only be achieved if indeed they, what, what they do is they place surround microphones inside that physical space. And so we captured that quality, so obviously you need to have, have the best possible recording, best possible microphones, because they're basically the connection between sound and what we hear here. The sound of it is, it's pure and you don't have to feel like you dress it up because it sits by itself really nicely and it's, uh, uh, you don't end up layering a bunch of stuff on top of it to make it really sound good. You can, you know, like I said, simple is usually better. So if it's a good quality sound, you have to work, you don't have to work as hard to make it fit in with everything else. Okay, now I start it. Going to a movie creates a strong emotional reaction. You feel the movie, you see it, uh, and you hear it. So the score is very important. The audio score is very important. It creates the emotions. It's what really gets you in your heart. And therefore, we care so much about the audio track. This uh, filming project was an uh, ideal platform to, to test digital microphones for recording cars, uh, for recording music, for film scoring. Most people who are appreciating music and appreciating cinema, they don't know much about the technology behind it. But us at Sennheiser, we are there to create passion. We're there to advance in technology to get people to enjoy music, cinema, and entertainment with great passion. We provide the best tools for recording engineers and the audio community. We get praised for the good quality of our product and for the reliability of the product. So this is really what we're striving for. We get feedback from the community and with that we build even better products. My name is Daniel Sennheiser and I'm really passionate about audio. I'm really passionate about sound and I'm passionate about my company because we believe that the audio that we provide to the world is getting better every day.